This top, it's giving, do I work a coyote ugly? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and this is going to be the start of a few days in my life vlog. So right now y'all, I am sitting on my stairs because I'm getting ready to get picked up for dinner. It's Friday night and me and my friend Chizzy and a few of her friends are going out to dinner in the city. Um, it's a super casual spot so I just have on like a little casual dress, nothing crazy. But yeah, I'm excited to get out the house. I have been lounging in bed all day y'all, like what? <laughs> <laughs> just lounging today was one of those days where it was like i need to rest i don't have the energy to do anything i just got picked up by nulia we're headed to dinner i don't know what's happening she said her friends were being nest then she changed the restaurant then she was just sitting in the um in the like driveway area trying to find a place oh because you switched it okay. no okay first of all so i was like we're thinking lauren he's like oh yeah that'd be good and then he's like actually i'm not in the mood for that i'm like well, where do you want to go he's like i want something nice I was like, okay, you want to go to Julia? He's like, that's expensive. I'm like, so you want something nice, but you don't want to spend well, Julia money. what suggestions does he have? He doesn't have any suggestions. Oh, okay, well then. So he's like, well, y'all, you just go where you want to go and then send it to me and I'll see if, like, okay. we can go. He's like, I'm not just going to go in. Um, do you want to go to Julia? Uh, or do you want to go to this place? Baby, I don't got Julia money. I got a budget for <laughs> Julia. <laughs> that's what he said, too. He's like, I ain't got Julia I don't, money. I can't be impulsively okay, Julia. So let's go to and, and, that's oh not. Oh my gosh, I hate when people are Oh, like, be careful with this light. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, please don't. Because they be, they gonna run it, you gonna run it. And it <laughs> the amount of accidents I've seen at this light. Oh, um, but yeah, but that's what happened. He's like, so you just go where you go and just send it to me. He's like, I'm okay. probably just ordering. Because he just finished working 24 hours. Oh my um, gosh. So where do you want to go? Uh, We can do, if you don't have Julia money, we can do the brasserie. Okay. Is it Julia money, but just in French font? Did you I've look never, at prices? I didn't. I just okay. I, I gotta put y'all down, y'all. Look at prices because she be trying to be a booze on me, and it's like I'll go there and be seventy percent, seventy dollars for a piece of chicken that's white. So give me just a second, I'll be back. No. Okay, y'all. I'm cracking up because Leah is on my case about how I came out the house. She said we were going to dinner and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear something casual. So I put on like a dress and she's like, you have on pearl earrings. And I'm telling her, I'm like, Nulia, baby, I have two pair of earrings that I can keep up with. This happens to be one of them. And the gold hoops, you've seen how many times. <laughs> so she's I like. scam, bamboozled, hoodwinked, catfish. Let me flip the camera. No, don't, 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 don't turn around over here, okay? Because clearly this is casual. She said she's gonna be casual. I'm very angry. <laughs> I'm very upset. This place y'all is actually so beautiful. I know a lot of y'all live in Houston, so I'm gonna um, put where it is up on the screen. And I'll also link the Yelp page down below, but very pretty, very much of a vibe. I actually wanna come back and be like really dressed and like have on heels, cause right now I like don't really look, you know. But yeah, it's very, very pretty. And it's in a good area, um, which I didn't realize, they've like recently built this up, haven't they? Yeah. So it's in a really cute area um, where they just built another Hanover, which is crazy. I used to live by the Hanover when I used lived in my last apartment. Which Hanover? You always say that. I live one that they built and how I got my apartment so cheap. That's a Hanover. So many though. Yeah. But so many. Anyway guys, yeah, I'll show y'all once my drink comes. I just wanted to let y'all know. Also y'all, I got the DJI. I haven't talked about it, but baby, this is a good camera. The way it is night and this lighting is so good. Cheers to girls night. Why would you? Right. Okay, my first test. Oh, it's good. You said that too quick. Is it good? No, it's like, I love it. Now, don't get me wrong. It's my type of carrying on. It does have some, like, lemon in it. Mm. But you can taste the strawberry. It's great. Do you have favorite restaurants? I feel like I have my favorite restaurants. Like, ooh, it's like, where do you want to eat? I'm like, okay, what do you mean to move for? Because my favorite restaurants are Uchi. Which you have to, first of all, you can't even get there without a reservation. Yeah. Stick for Got the burrata salad, and it looks pretty good. It's beets and burrata. I love beets, though. I'm a unique one in that way. I know a lot of people don't, but, and it has truffles on it. So, so good. I'm saying it's good. I haven't even tried it yet, but. Good morning, y'all. I am up in Adam. It is 7.34, I think, or 7, no, it's 7.40. I'm up, I'm on my way to the range. Y'all, it's so early. 
it's so early and it's already 80 degrees outside so that's why we go so early so that we kind of have a chance of like lasting out here at least two hours but y'all I'm like so t uploaded my video last night but what's crazy is normally I have really good internet so normally my videos will upload in like 30 minutes for whatever reason today it well last night I uploaded it it took literally y'all probably like three hours to upload which is insane for me this morning it was a lot faster it only took like an hour I would say last night when I uploaded it what happened is that once it uploaded after all those hours I kept waking up through the night to like check the status I didn't even sleep good which sucks finally at like 6 a.m. it gets fully uploaded I go to check it y'all copyright claims on the music so then I had to take it edit out the music and re-upload it this morning I'm hoping that I'll get a notification to my phone that my video is good to go because if not I'm gonna have to just mute those clips that I hate when I do that because it's like annoying nobody wants to watch just muted clips but because I'm not home I really don't have any other option because <laughs> I want my video to still go live in my like designated time and I don't think I'll be back home in time to make it but yeah, anywho, I'm just proud. Consistency is the key the rest of the year. So I did what I had to do to get the video up. And yeah, now we're to the range, guys. My outfit today is super basic. Um, I just have on a black like top and then a, the purple skirt that I got from Old Navy. But it's cute. One thing I will say is that this top is actually a dress. But my booty is so big, y'all, that it just like the dress, uh, my cheeks are out. So I just turned it into a shirt. And hopefully, as I continue to lose weight, I will be able to wear it as a dress. Because as of right now, honey, it is <laughs> giving no, 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 no. I've officially decided that I'm going to buy my own golf clubs, which I have been on the fence about for a while. Because like I told y'all, it's like one of those things. I did not want to invest all this money if I'm not going to actually be playing this, like doing it, you know, playing the sport. I think it's a sport, right? And so I was on the fence, but I really have been enjoying it. And the girl who I play with, she's so sweet. She lets me use hers with no issue, but she's taller than me. And she's quite a bit taller than me. Y'all know I'm only 5'2". So because she's taller than me, the golf clubs are just so much longer. And they just don't work for like my height. So I'm going to um, try to buy my own. I'm looking on Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully I can find some good secondhand ones because I don't need brand new ones like I don't need that but we'll see I'm just giving it a go I have on no makeup either y'all there's no point in putting on makeup which I know a baddie would still put on makeup but the way you're gonna just be out in the sun sweating it's like let me just have my natural face and just put on sunscreen so that's what I did and I have no regrets Use the left lane to okay y'all bye <laughs> made it and this is by far the nicest one let me not say the nicest one i feel like memorial park is really nice too but this one is such a vibe literally you can see downtown from the bar and restaurant it has a huge parking lot the greens look so so pretty like this one i'm gonna rate it it's probably my second favorite i would give memorial a one just because it's in the middle of a park it's very pretty but so far this one has number two just on looks alone just on looks alone we're giving it number two but we will see how it is to actually like hit the ball see what the range is actually like because it's a really pretty golf course but sometimes the range can suck and the golf course is nice but yeah just wanted to update y'all i am tired i'm fading quickly but it's all good <laughs> I feel like even my eyes look a little tired, but probably because I don't have any mascara or anything. I'm early, so actually what I'm about to do is make my thumbnail for my video because it's going up in 30 minutes. Y'all, I'm so happy we did not get any um, copyright flags, so this one is good to go, which means I can post on time. I'm going to stop recording until she gets here because I'm literally not doing anything. I'm like so focused on the thumbnail, but yeah, we're here. It's cute, and I'm excited. Oh, it's a 45 minute drive. <laughs> oh, she a Florida baby. And she love it when the sun comes up. Sweetheart, but the dog comes up. Sometimes, sometimes. She gotta put herself in check. 
Y'all, I was talking this whole time and I was not actually recording. So we're here. It's so pretty. This range is like probably the prettiest one I've been to by far. And it's going well. I'm hitting a lot more balls this time. So I'm really proud of myself. I really feel like I improved my swing by trying to do less, if that makes sense. But, you know, we're seeing. I'm still trying to get it straight. That's my biggest struggle right now. But, yeah, weather is not bad at all. The humidity is crazy, so my leave-out is already sweated out. But we already expected that, so we're just enjoying life. <laughs> and it's still so early, y'all. It's not even 9 a.m. yet, which is crazy. But that's perfect because, you know, I do have to go to church. But, yeah. So, y'all, what the guy taught me last time is he told me, like, since my chest is big, I need to not focus about, like, trying to get it over this shoulder. I want to focus on just trying to hit a straight line. Like, you know, making sure it's parallel to if there was a straight line on the ground. And that I definitely think has been helping. I'm saying that and I'm about to swing right now and I'm going to mess up. Y'all are going to see it, but I'm going to show y'all what he kind of told me. So first you want to have your hands loose. That's one thing he said, like you don't want your wrist to be super, super tight. So you want to have a little movement in it and then just focus on that straight line. Follow the ball also, which I don't do. See? embarrass myself I knew it was gonna happen oh my gosh let's do it again y'all okay that was a good one I hope y'all were able to see that it went far y'all <laughs> well okay I'm gonna keep playing I just want to update y'all we're all done with golf for the day I had a great time it was really fun again I love this place it's so cute y'all and it's popping because we're leaving it before 10 a.m y'all the parking lot is full there are people playing pickleball. There are people already drinking. There are people on the putting green at the range. Like this place has a lot going on and we love that. I actually told her, I was like, I'm so happy that you suggested it. And she was like, you know, it's funny. I would have said, let's just go back to the same place that we always go. But you were like, let's try somewhere new. And so we both agree. We really like the vibe of this place and we will be back. We say next time we go, we want to try somewhere else different. Because y'all know one thing about me is like I'll do the same stuff like pretty often but I like to try my best to just like mix it up by doing different locations. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm headed home because I have to get dressed and head out to church. This church that I'm trying this week, it starts at noon, but supposedly it's very, very popular. So you have to get there at like 1130 to get a parking spot and then to also find a seat. Um, I typically don't do super popular churches, but this one, there is a guest preacher there that my friend really likes. So she really, wa really wanted to go and she invited me. So I am happy to join. At the next light, turn right. I'm hot, but luckily I do have time to shower and everything, which is a blessing. I felt kind of bad because the girl that I do play golf with, I really want for us to like get to know each other and foster a friendship. I mean, and I just be like, oh, we meet for golf and we talk for like two hours in the middle of golfing. I want for us to really, you know, get to know each other. And so this week I wanted to try to do brunch, but unfortunately it just, because I already had plans, I couldn't do it. But next time I'm going to be intentional about, you know, figuring out a way for us to do brunch after so that we can you know chit chat and get to know one another but yeah also this part of town i'm in is actually really cute it's called i guess east river and it's very cute very unexpected because it is in a random part near downtown houston and if you're from houston baby you know one wrong turn in houston you're in the trenches one right turn you're with million dollar homes and normally the trenches and the million dollar homes are on the same block you feel me so that's what it's giving here it's like interesting very cutesy though but yeah guys i'm gonna just focus on the road because your girl is driving i will see y'all when we get home and get start getting ready for church hey y'all so i am done with church it was really good i really enjoyed it we went to one i think he's very like social media popular i'm pretty sure like has like viral videos or something because i it look baby this church packed out y'all packed out like we had to get on a shuttle there was a line for the shuttle had about 15 overflow rooms in the church house but it was a really good sermon i'm gonna put some snippet well i don't think i could put snippets but i'm gonna put the name of the church on screen right now y'all i really enjoyed it it seems like it's actually his father's church initially and now he is kind of like you know helping to pastor the church which is cool really a young pastor had a very like young message but i really enjoyed it i'm really really glad i went i felt kind of bad because 
I was super tired, so my energy just wasn't the best, and I felt bad. I felt like I wasn't giving my friend like excitement and joy because I was so tired. But I'm really grateful she invited me, and I did enjoy myself. It's just, you know, your your energy's low. It's like I can't really give you my best, and I probably have a little bit of an attitude, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> But now I'm headed to meet my aunt and my little cousin for lunch. It's my aunt and cousin on my dad's side of the family. We try to get together at least once a month to do lunch because, you know, it's just important to see your family and spend time with it. I, in the past, have struggled with like making sure I'm building the relationship with that side of the family and making sure that I'm consistent. You know, when your parents aren't together, you tend to be with your mom's side of the family more. So it's just how it went. But as I've gotten older, I've really realized like how important it is for me to be close to my dad's side of the family and to see that, you know, other side of you. But I realized while I was in church, I was sitting there, I was like, oh my gosh. Cause I was like, oh, I have so much to do for work to before work tomorrow. And then I realized I don't even have to go to work tomorrow cause I took off for the week. So God is good. Well, I didn't take off, I tried to take off the whole week, but I have a meeting that's like an important meeting and I have to talk, so I have to go to work for that. That's the part people don't tell you about, baby. You wanna make good money. Sometimes like, baby, no, you can't take no vacation. You gotta read one page of a PowerPoint. We're depending on you. But yeah, okay guys, I'll see y'all once we get to the spot. Happy Tuesday. I'm about to head into the office. Like I said um, on Sunday, I didn't have to work yesterday. So all I did was like give my room a super, super good deep clean. Like I hit the baseboards. I moved like my nightstands, my bed, and swept under there and every wall, swept and like did the baseboards. I um, did my bathroom really good, same thing. So. And like just organize some stuff that I can get to organize. So, and yeah, I am just literally going for this one meeting, which is kind of crazy. Of course, since I'm going to be there already, I'm going to stay the rest of the day and try to be productive. Part of me did think about asking to leave. <laughs> but since I was sick last week, I left literally like every single day early. So I'm not going to do that today. But I did think about it. Yeah, and I'm feeling good. It was just crazy that my birthday is in a couple of days. I cannot believe it. I'm like about to be grown, grown. I officially feel like I'm hitting that stage in life where it's like, no, you are a full-fledged adult. Like, easily could be somebody's mother. Like, I could be somebody's mom that's in high school at this age. You know what I'm saying? If I would have had a kid as a teen. And that just blows my mind. It's like, oh, Because I still just feel like such a child myself. But it's like, no, I'm an adult. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. <sighs> I tried to wear something a little bit more professional today since I do have this meeting. It's only my department, but sometimes our CFO or our CEO will come in there. And so I said, let me dress nicer because y'all know, baby, I love a holy jean and a graphic tee to work. But I was like, let me step it up. So I have on like actual like slacks and a blouse. <laughs> Not my usual. <laughs> and then probably put on like a very subtle makeup. I don't know though. Cause I'm out of my eyebrow pencil, which, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I just said that. Because the way I went to Ulta, y'all, y'all know I went to Ulta like a couple of weeks ago. Well, in the last vlog that y'all saw, I went to Ulta. In reality, y'all know that was a few weeks ago. And baby, I did not get a pencil because I thought I was good, only for mine to go out. So I need to get a pencil. I have just been wearing this perfume that I got from the TikTok shop, y'all. It's called Now Women. And I really like it. It's definitely like a... I think it's one of those, what are they called them? Like Arabic perfumes? 
I think is what they title them is. I'm not sure, but it's like a Middle Eastern perfume. I like it. It's a good, like, don't want nothing. This is like $30. Not the fanciest perfume, but I really like the way it smells. And I will say that every time I wear this, y'all, I get comment compliments. So I will link it down below. And I was kind of surprised by that. I did not expect that. But, like, literally every time I put it on, somebody's like, oh, you smell good. What do you have on? And so don't want to put on makeup. I just can't do it. I'm not going to force myself to. I do not like wearing makeup to work. <laughs> like it's such a waste <laughs> i know that's so bad but you know what maybe i should i'm trying to lean into the woman that i want to be you know so should i throw a little something on no we're not gonna do it we're not gonna do it <laughs> the glasses covers everything anyway <laughs> no. i don't ever talk about this but y'all may not know but my vanity does not have like my kitchen not my kitchen my bathroom vanity in the restroom where the sinks are it does not have any drawers i never noticed that when i purchased this house but in hindsight never buy a place where there's no drawers because where are you going to store your stuff that you use every day you have to go under the cabinet and i was not doing that or everything's gonna be on the countertops i was leaving like a lot on the countertop and i just hated how i always look cluttered so yesterday when i did my deep clean video i decided to make like a little basket of everything that i use daily that i don't want out and day one of it i'm already loving it so much it has like my nighttime skincare my daytime skincare and then my dental stuff not my toothbrush but like my water pick and my mouthwash bottle and my retainer so i'm a big fan of this and it's made it so much easier i'm looking i'm like oh the bathroom looks clean so i'm a fan of having that i'm gonna wear my brown glasses today y'all because i don't think the pink will look appropriate with the outfit you know she's giving business professional <laughs> perfect that's that i really never bring this i'm gonna leave this at home i'm gonna throw my pink pair in there also y'all i really want to get a pair of pink of red glasses so i think i'm gonna order them i want to do red and then i also want to get a um pair of like super like chunky tortoise ones but it's hard because i want to try them on before i like purchase and commit and y'all know i get my glasses online so through our work checklist we have our laptop we have our badge we have my gift card to target in case i stop there after work a pin I'm gonna bring a sweater today just in case I get cold. Also, look at this, look at this gentleman living the life. I work hard so he could lay in bed, okay? <laughs> After his walks. <laughs> my meeting i have my packet wish me luck i'll come back and tell y'all how it went it went so well it was super quick i mean the meeting wasn't quick the meeting is an hour and 30 minutes but my part was super quick <laughs> and um my boss told me i did really well and so i appreciate that now i am just in my office y'all my allergies are so bad like i don't know what's going on but the way i have like my eyes are red my nose is itching so i'm sorry i feel like in the last few vlogs i've been like doing this a lot but it's because of my allergies i think i'm gonna try to schedule an appointment tomorrow to see if i can get in and try to get some allergy medicine even if it's like just an e-visit or whatever like a telehealth visit they gave us free lunch in the meeting which love that and now i'm on my like technical lunch break because if it's a lunch work meeting that is not a lunch break to me <laughs> i need like 20 minutes of me time so i'm taking that right now i um, am lucky ready to go home but i'm gonna be here until <laughs> the end of the day like i'm supposed to be and then I feel so sick. I like don't even have energy to go to Ulta. So I'm going to just go home probably and rest because I have to go out tonight, you know, at seven. 
I think I want to go to dinner at Yard House, but I'm not sure. I've not had Yard House in forever, and it sounds so good right now. Let's see if we have a, um, oh yeah. I do have some tea in my bag, so maybe I'll make me a tea. Ooh, I'm gonna also buy me some teas for the office. Cause I've been so into tea lately. So yeah, I have a chamomile and a refreshment towel. I'm also looking for something to watch on YouTube, but nobody has posted. Y'all know who I've been watching so much lately. And I feel like I say her name wrong. Chelsea Janae. I don't know if her name is Chelsea chesley or chelsea she always says chelsea so chelsea janae baby i have been so into her videos and let me tell y'all something she is a consistent queen the way that girl posts every two days like clockwork and i'm living for it <laughs> i think she is so so entertaining i don't know i just like the vibe of her videos it feels like very much like your homegirl talking to you let me know if y'all watch her i feel like probably a lot of y'all do watch her because she pops up all the time but if you don't definitely watch her videos subscribe y'all because if you're looking for a consistent youtuber she's that one she hasn't posted today but i know she will because she posted a video two days ago and literally her thing is like 11 days no let me tell y'all how consistent she is two weeks ago 13 days ago 11 days ago eight days ago six days ago four days ago two days ago like sis post those videos she be cranking them out but all right guys let's go make this tea and then let's get back to work so i'm gonna try to do like some reports and stuff before i go home oh, i got my feet kicked up and everything Ciao. i bought a blanket from the house such a good decision when it's fall time y'all bring your blanket from the house and just be cozy in your little office or cozy in your cubicle wherever you sit wherever you work the forge was such a good movie if y'all have not seen it yet i highly 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 recommend it y'all it was really really good it's from the same people that do like did the war room so if you've ever seen the war room it's from those same like writers and directors so good i always enjoy their movies a lot and they always just like reignite my personal like walk with faith and my personal walk with religion so i always appreciate it for that i am home <laughs> praise god and it is 10 30 at night i am about to take a shower and stuff but i want to open the Shein package so bad should we open it let's just open it let's just open it we're already here you know <laughs> first of all y'all look at the size of the box oh, so excited at first i was feeling kind of guilty about ordering from Shein because i have been trying not to order from them um just because of several factors you know whatever like not whatever but like just trying to be intentional about not ordering from them but as y'all know when you're plus size it's just a whole different ball game and i don't think that gets talked about enough when it comes to like finding clothes that you like that are stylish and trendy and she is one of the stores that they have a lot of options let me go get a knife and one thing too, I think when people say fast fashion and how bad it is, I know that it is bad. But to my credit, stuff that I buy that's like fast fashion, I will have it for a long time. Like that wrap dress in my last vlog, y'all, I've literally had it for like three or four years. You feel me? Like for a minute. And I still wear it faithfully. So I give myself grace in that regard that I don't just like buy stuff where it wants. And then it's in a landfill. It's like, no, I'll wear it for a long time. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to show the clothes right now, y'all. Because I don't want to try them on. But, oh, oh, heck no. What? Why is this moist inside? Hmm. Is it humidity? Look at me, I'm kind of freaked out. Huh? Oh no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, oh no. Y'all, these are wet. Ooh. Okay, wait a second, child. She and baby, you might be taking this all back. Mm. 
I had got these shoes, y'all. They're like loafers. I thought they were really cute, but there's literally liquid in the bag. Also, I got some baseball caps, but now I'm looking at it. I'm like, why would y'all ship them like this? Because this is so cute to me. But I'm looking and it's like kind of bent, but let me check. Baby, this might be why I stopped fooling with them. Because I'm like, isn't that so cute? And it says trust the process. I think that's like very adorable. You know, hats are in right now. <laughs> so I got that. Let me see. Those shoes are grossing me out so bad, y'all. Oh, I don't even know. I'm like, what? How is that possible? I got this bag. I thought it was cute. It just looks very cheap. Like, I can tell it's not expensive, but it is cute. Um, just simple. And then... This is the inside. The inside is not bad. It just, the fake leather looks very, very fake, if that makes sense. But I love this class. Let me show y'all. So you, oh, let me hop my face. So you like pinch it open and it closes. I think that's so cute. I just don't know how to feel about the quality. So there's that. This was like $6 though. So, you know, one can only complain so much. <laughs> um... Then I got a little clasp for my Apple Watch. I know that's kind of corny, but I am so over having the white band. So I wanted to try something different. So I got like a little gold one that I can um, wear for when I'm doing like nicer stuff. Got these earrings. I think those are cute. They're kind of small though. And then I got these. These are also very small. I just don't know where I will wear these. I'm probably gonna return these too. shoes were gonna come in a box like normal but they didn't and then i got these you know it's fall now i love these these are cute look at that y'all that's a cute little loafer cute little work shoe these are nice these i would keep um i think these are really pretty i got them in like a chocolate brown hopefully they fit though y'all have a very small foot i wear a size six well, sometimes a six and a half, but normally I'll do a six and a half or a six. They only had these in full sizes. So this is a seven. I probably should have got a six, but we'll see. So I'm looking at I'm like, this looks kind of big. Oh, this for sure is going back. These earrings are so cute, y'all. They're just so little. Like, look how teeny tiny that earring is. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. Anywho, that's all I'm going to show right now, guys. I will show the rest of all the clothes and everything tomorrow. Because I don't want to have to get undressed and everything. I'm also going to take this and put it outside. I don't want it in my bedroom. I'm getting freaked out by the shoes. Yeah. I'm about to do that. Hop in the shower and go to bed. I will see y'all in the morning. Y'all, this candle smells so good. Can I see the name? Mm, I'm going to get it. y'all i didn't went into walmart and spent <laughs> 70 dollars. definitely did not get any clothes that i thought i would get but i'm giving myself grace because i got stuff that i needed like y'all know i had just talked about um hair vitamins or did i talk about hair vitamins or did i think it but i knew i need vitamins and then i got some more metamucil well i bought the offering because walmart has like its own brand and i was like let me get that it sounds like it's the exact same thing so i did get that and then i got two fall candles and a bunch of uh my plugins that i like to use 
I love the soft cashmere and amber in amber um better homes and gardens scent y'all I think they smell so good so I did load up on those since they had them in stock but yeah no clothes the clothes were not hitting at all y'all like I was excited at first I was like oh y'all know I love Walmart so I was like maybe they gonna have some pieces they had nothing that I liked and so no pieces they didn't even have the lululemon um dupe that everybody's talking about on tiktok right now i saw the jacket but they didn't have the pants so it was no point in buying the jacket without the pants also when it comes to like warm clothing i'm just always so apprehensive because in texas it gets cold literally for like a month so i try to be very mindful and not just be buying a whole bunch of like jackets and stuff that i know i'm really not going to wear that often because it just feels wasteful and it takes up space in the closet but yeah we're getting ready to head to the dermatologist my appointment is in 20 minutes i threw everything that i've been currently using into this box just so that i can bring it to, with me to show the doctor and so we can go over like what i'm actually using what works what doesn't work what i might need to change to the main thing i'm going to get is to get um retinade or retinol or whatever it is to supposedly help with wrinkles and like just aging and texture skin all of that that's my real mission so i threw this in the box it has just like my morning routine and then my evening routine is on the actual box so convenient glad i saved the box the millennial it worked out for me this time because you know us millennials we do not like to throw away a box any <laughs> but this is why because then it's like oh i don't have to bring seven individual products with me i can bring the box that list the seven and the ingredients okay <laughs> okay guys so this is the first fit i really do like it and it's not even a fit it's two separate items but it is the i'm talking so loud my bad y'all <laughs> i just got a black tea um and this came as pack of three so i got a pack of three they're like cropped just baby tees and then these are barrel jeans in leopard print one thing y'all i'm loving about the barrel jean is that it has like kind of scrunchies in the back so that it really does fit to your waist so you don't have that gap well you, well, you know your booty's kind of big and your waist is smaller. I'm really loving that. And also, considering how short I am, these are actually the perfect length, which is crazy. I'm really, like, very happy with these. I've been wanting a pair of barrel jeans. They're definitely, like, trending right now, but I just really, really like them. So I'm glad I got a pair. And, yeah, we're going to keep these. I feel good and confident in this outfit, which is, like, the best thing. I'm really trying to step, like, my casual game up when it comes to me having stuff to go and run errands in or just go meet a friend for coffee that's not like sweatpants but feels still very comfortable and this is definitely that so happy with these gonna put these in the yes pile all right i got a three-piece pair of tees the reason i got these is that i liked the asymmetrical line and the fact that it does have a little peak of the stomach one thing i'm not loving though about these tops guys is that this is like a shiny polyester do y'all see kind of ha how it has a sheen to it it's given like a workout shirt and show y'all compared to this one that's more like cotton you see how this is the cotton shirt the baby shirt and then this one do you see the difference like this one just has like a sheen it's given workout material this could be good for like girls night out if you want to do a dressier top but i'm just not loving it i don't think I hate when stuff is clear polyester, so these are definitely going to be returned. I want for it to be more of a cotton material, or at the very least, a cotton feel. So we're going to put these in the return. This top, it's giving, do I work at Coyote Ugly? Honestly, I'm rosin this whole haul is giving, like, does she work at Coyote Ugly part-time? I am getting to that point of when you're trying on clothes and you feel like you are hideous in a well. So not loving that, but just being very transparent. You don't want to play? I'm so worried about my dog. He looks so bored. I'm going to have to take him to the dog park tonight as long as we're packed in time. But anyway, y'all, yeah, starting to get to that point where it's like, oh, this is what I look like. This is my body. But it's like, that's so ungrateful. Thank God for my body. Thank God for how I look. Thank God for my health, my limbs, everything. But just being honest, I'm having a little moment. Don't love it. Don't hate it. We're going to put this in the think about it pile. This, I just thought it was hilarious, guys. I support women's rights and wrongs, but same thing. It's just too loose. Like, I don't want it to look like that. I want for it to have some type of tightness to it, but I just thought this was so funny. I also don't love the material, but it's kind of like slinky. It could work. It's just, I'm not keeping this. 
making me look more frumpy than anything so return love this tank y'all but it's going back it's too big i wanted it to be way more fitted super cute though but i don't like how it's drooping you know you see that you see the droop don't love that we're gonna i got this shirt y'all i thought this was so cute it says espresso martini next up we have this top i threw the leopard print pants back on to see kind of what it would look like but this is one of those popular little vest tops that's been going around lately and i think it's cute i think it's misbuttoned let me show y'all guys it just came back to me and i remembered why i ordered the linen blend top and it is for this skirt this skirt is absolutely a keeper it is so pretty the material feels so nice and expensive i'm gonna actually have to drop y'all down so y'all can see it pretty well so sorry about that but y'all look at this skirt like is that not gorgeous so so pretty and it has like a i don't know like almost like a wrap kind of look around it i think this is so beautiful it's definitely kind of like a midi skirt i would say because it doesn't go all the way to the ground but it might be considered a maxi i'm not a fashion girl somebody tell me in the comments i love it it's a mint green or a pistachio green some could say but yeah this is so cute all right guys next up hold on i'm gonna clip y'all to my hair let's see if y'all stay there let's see okay perfect <laughs> Loved it way more in the photo than I'm actually liking it right now, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I think I thought I was going to be way, way cuter. I'm just quickly doing the front up so I can show y'all because it doesn't have zippers or anything. It's actually like all tied up and my ties are actually off y'all, my bad. Okay, so this is this one, y'all. I really liked it on the internet, but now that I'm looking at it in person, it's giving Moo Moo. <laughs> Mini dress. I just thought it was so cute. I like how I had like all the activity going on, but I'm looking at it. I'm like, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And it's giving that I may have it in my closet and never actually wear it anywhere because where am I wearing mini dresses lately? Not very many places. So I don't think I'm going to keep it just because... I'm not in love with it and so let's return it what I will say is that it definitely is covering up the stomach because it does have so much activity I feel like it's like my little belly is not is out and this is the dress I'm actually planning on wearing for my birthday but I hate it so let's talk about it <laughs> this is the one that like I got with the sole intent of wearing for my big day and I just don't like it. Dang, boo. Tomato, tomato. Matronly, is that the word I would use? Like the last thing I picked up, guys, um, as far as clothing is this cute little pair of jammies. I loved the color. These are very much so like fall. Y'all, I'm eating the frog <laughs> before I start packing because I'm really trying to be intentional lately of doing what I need to do for my life to be overall better before I do like the easy or fun stuff. And things that I tend to avoid. So one thing for me, y'all, is I hate laundry. I hate folding laundry specifically, like most people. And so what I'll do is I will put it off until the very last minute. And then I have like three and four piles of clothes that I have to go through. So not today, not on my watch. I still have three piles that I have to do, but I'm making sure I do them before I go on my vacation or my little trip so that when I come back, I don't have to worry about it, y'all. And that is like my main focus. Also, I'm saying I'm going on a trip. Literally, I might just be driving to like a hotel in Houston. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and that's funny. I have no clue, guys. She just told me to, my friend Chizzy, who's planning it, all she told me was to make sure that I'm packed. My bags are at the door. My dog is packed. And that um, told me what to pack and told me to be ready at 830, child. So I have no Clue. She also said to make sure I have gas in my car. So I'm clearly driving myself there, which makes sense because I have a dog. But I'm just like, I have no idea what we're doing, <laughs> which is pretty fun. But it's just funny. I'm like, when I go on my trip, I don't know if I'm going on a trip. I literally have no idea. I could be driving down the block or I could be driving to her house and we're just going to be locked in there for 24 hours. You know, like, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, I am still very excited. It's just really nice to have somebody do something to surprise you. And it's funny, this all started because she asked me, um, 
Like, she's like, oh, do you like surprises? And I was telling her, I was like, to be honest, friend, I can't remember the last time, like, somebody made the effort to surprise me, if that makes sense. Like, ooh, y'all know I love to cry. <laughs> but, like, let me say, let me not say, like, like a big surprise, you know what I mean? Where it's like you plan something or something like that. Like, um, my mom, of course, she did that stuff for me. But, like, when she passed away, nobody else does stuff for me like that anymore. So, it was just very funny because I was like, I don't even have an answer for you. I don't know if I like them or not. <laughs> and so, I was joking with her. I told her, I was like, well, this will be a good opportunity for me to see if I like surprises so that we can know. So, I overall, I will say I'm like not stressed and I think it's a good level of surprise. Like, I don't know everything that's happening, but also like it's not a total. Well, no, I really don't know anything that's happening, but at least I do know like, OK, I'm packing and, you know, like stuff like that. So that is helpful. But it just made me laugh. I was like, I don't even know about like surprises. I have no idea. But now I'm getting one. So super fun. I'm not bringing any of this stuff with me either. Well, maybe some of it, probably the shorts that I'm packing, but I'm just getting the job done. Also, y'all, these pajamas from Target are so cute. I ended up getting the last pair. Love them so, so much. If y'all don't know, I'm an addict for pajamas. If I ever start a business, y'all, and start trying to sell y'all something, understand that it will be pajamas. And you'll probably be like, Crystal, that has nothing to do with what you talk about. But it's just what I'm deeply passionate about. <laughs> I believe every single woman and man, honestly, deserves to have like something nice to sleep in. And I believe it just improves your overall vibe so much when you kind of like let go of the ratty t-shirts or like whatever and sleep in PJs, even if they're ones like this, like this is more of like a, la a comfy like PJ or a cozy comfy PJ. Also like ones that are a little bit more sexy. I just I love pajamas and all of that. So no, the one day I'm gonna be trying to slang y'all pajamas. <laughs> Maybe when I'm in like my 40s and it's my second career, who knows? <laughs> and sometimes it's funny. I actually all will like sketch ones like fabric or prints that I would want on fabric. I have like some sketches already of ones that I would want to do that are like themed. Um, that's just a random little thing about me, y'all. I have never worn this skirt, y'all, and it is so cute. It's been washed a good three times, but I've actually never put it on for... Where am I going? ACL. I think I'm going to bring it that weekend. And I say that weekend, I can only be at ACL for one day because I have a wedding to come back for. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, that bag is done. So we're down to one bag left, y'all. This is dirty because it's a makeup towel. And baby, that makeup be locked in here. But um, this is done. I'm just going to have to put all this up. And we just have one more bag to do, y'all. Recently started watching Reasonable Doubt. When I say recently, I mean recently, y'all. I'm only on season one, episode four. Baby, this is a good little show. I did not realize. Now I get what all the hype was about. Because I would hear people talking about it. And I was just kind of like, mm, I guess. You know, I didn't really get the point of it. But now I'm so into And I think season two is out. That's really what made me want to watch it. That's really what made me want to watch it, y'all, is that I had seen all the promotion for season two. And I was like, let me go ahead and give it a try. Let me see if I get the hype. And so far, I'm like, okay, it's very good. I'm also watching um, How to Die Alone with Natasha. I don't know her last name, but you know, from Insecure, Kelly from Insecure. And I also loved her on White Lotus too. So if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about, I'll try to insert her photo unless I forget what I'm editing. <laughs> but um, anyway, I like, uh, and I'm watching that too. It's cute. I'm just definitely trying to give her some good old support because you know it's hard. Having a show with a black woman lead and keeping it going for a next season, especially when it's like on a streaming platform and stuff like that. It's not as easy. Um, anywho, so I'm watching that. It's been cute. They have the first four episodes out right now. If you're bored this week and you want to watch something, definitely would suggest it. Real cute. See? And that's really all I've been watching. What I've been reading, guys, and let me tell y'all, this book, y'all, if I thought it was so good, it's kind of weird. Let me go to it. There's two books I've been reading, um, and I want to share both of them with y'all because I have actually been enjoying them. The Well, three. Sorry, there's three books. Not me changing the number over and over. Okay. The first book, y'all, that I read is People Person by Candace Cardi, and that is the same lady who wrote Queenie. So if you've ever read the book Queenie, this is like another book from her. It's a little weird, but it's very good. It's about a man, and he has like five kids by five different no he has five kids by four different women or yeah five kids by four different women and it's just about them all like learning how to be family as they get older because they're not raised together because he's you know laying it low spreading it wide okay 
And so they come together over something and it just shows the journey of them becoming family again. Really, really good. It's also interesting because there's like a Nigerian baby mama. There's a white baby mama. There's a UK Brit baby mama. There's a um, like I, I think it was from Jamaica, Jamaican baby mama. And so and then there was like a Indian baby mama. So they're all very different, all very different walks of life. And all these kids are raised in separate households. So they're also very different. But they like come together. I thought it was really, really good. And I also really enjoy reading sometimes stories about black Brits because you know I'm a black American so my experience and sometimes the books I read are in that voice I believe Candace is a black Brit and so she writes from the voice of like young black British people and I really enjoy that um and if you enjoyed Queenie you'll like it it's that same kind of vibe I noticed on Goodreads it doesn't have as many good reviews which I thought was interesting because I'm like this is a good book but I'm one of those people don't let um TikTok and all them tell you what to read all the time because they will give you some trash books I feel like personally so I would say that is a good one. Maybe I'll do a TikTok about it because I really did enjoy it. One second, y'all. Because you see I'm yapping. A no clothes move. Not a piece of clothing has moved. So I had to stop the yapping and get on my job. Um, let me get my next book. And then we're going to get back to <laughs> While I talk about it, we're going to get back to doing what we need to do. Because, <laughs> honey, I am. Another book I recently read, y'all, is Indistractable. And it is by the same person who wrote. I can't remember what other book they wrote, but they have another really po popular book. And basically, Indistractable is just about the fact that, like, you know, obviously we live in a time and day and age where we have a cell phone that is constantly demanding our attention, constantly moving us away from, like, focusing on other things. You know how it's just, like, you can be in your phone a lot. So I recently read that about just kind of how, like, to rehone re your focus, rehone being intentional with your time. And I did enjoy it. That I did not physically read, y'all. That I did an audio book because sometimes for self-help books, I do better if it's audio. And that was definitely the case for this one. Um, but I did enjoy that. And I have two more to share with y'all. Another book I just read, y'all, is Evie Drake Starts Over. I have actually never heard of this author. Her name is... Linda Holmes and guys Evie Drake starts over is a good book it's about this lady um and she's a white lady I'm telling y'all the race just so y'all kind of get the vibe child y'all know I love all people so don't matter um Evie Drake she's an older white lady and she's not even older she's young she's probably like in like her early her late 30s maybe like early 40s but basically her husband dies and then a baseball player, his career is coming to an end. He had like this like thing happen where his baseball career kind of got halted. And so he moves in with her to help her pay rent because she has like an apartment in the back of her house. And it's just both of their journeys of healing. It's Evie talking about kind of her marriage and how like she's married to this perfect guy. But there's like layers to it that people don't know and like what her marriage was like and her just discovering herself. And then there's the baseball player who's kind of fine, you know. That book is good. I am almost done with that one. That one I'm doing audiobook because I've been listening to it while I'm at work. This one is called The Partner Plot. It's by Christina Forrest, y'all. And this one is so cute. It's about high school sweethearts. And I hope I'm not giving away too much of the book. But it's about high school sweethearts. And basically, they, like, break up once they get to college and things like that. But then they run into each other in Vegas. And one thing leads to another, baby. They end up having to pretend like they're married people and it's just all about their journey <laughs> and kind of like you know the past also the present lots of turns in it it's been real cute very lighthearted. I've been trying to expand I'm a big um chick lit like thriller reader as y'all know those are like so so popular I need more hangers guys I'm about to link this for y'all in my Amazon this has been such a game changer for me for like hanger storage. Whenever I put on an outfit or put on clothes, I put the hanger on here and it just like stores all your extra hangers that are not in use. So they're not just on your clothing shelf. You know, they're not just on the um, rack. And also too, you can carry it around. So I love it. I need to get more hangers, but we're going to put it down for now. I just want to share that with y'all. That is something that has made like when it is time to do laundry so much better because I just grab that with all my hangers and I'm, Wherever I want to fold, wherever I want to whatever, I have it. Love it. Um, anyway, so that book, yeah, is real cute. Those are the four books I'm reading right now. Well, I've read recently or finished reading or I'm currently reading. I'm still reading The Partner Plot and Evie Drake Gets a Life. But both of them are good. I've just been moving slower. The last tip, guys, because I'm going to stop talking because I know I'm talking a lot, <laughs> 
If you have Spotify, y'all, Spotify, and most people know this, but some people don't. So if you end up being like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that, please write it in the comments so I don't feel like I'm telling y'all stupid stuff. But if you have Spotify membership, guys, Spotify now has audiobooks and you get 15 hours of listening for audiobooks. And the reason, and you get 15 hours a month. The reason that is great, y'all, is because Audible is like $25 a month for one credit versus on Spotify, you get 15 hours with your membership. So that's with ad-free music, podcasts, and now they have audiobooks. And y'all, they have a crazy selection. They have so many audiobooks, like so, so good. And you know me, I don't have Audible. I actually have Libby, which is through your library. If you live in a city with a library, which hopefully everybody does, um, you can get an audiobook. You can get a library card and check out digital copies of audiobooks and like Kindle books from your local library on Libby. Um, pretty much, I don't know a city that doesn't have Libby now. It's very, very common. With that being said, Libby's hard because it is you sharing it with the books. Your library only gets so many copies. So like Houston might have 15 copies of a book. And the Houston Public Library has 15 copies. So if it's a really popular book, there's a wait list amongst us on the Libby app to get the book. And so that's the only thing that can be annoying. With Spotify, there is no wait list. They don't have a limited amount of audiobook copies. So you can, you know, you can check out really popular books. Oh, hold on one second. Oh. Crystal. Hey, sugar. Let me tell you. I know for sure that you're getting married. What? By your next big birthday, I'm not doing this alone. Oh. <laughs> For my sake alone, you will be mad. Oh, don't say that, Lily. I don't want you to be stressed. Girl, you know how we stress before an event. Okay, well, thank you. I'm, I'm claiming it, girl, from your mouth to God's ears, honey. You, girl, you will be. I refuse to do this alone. I need somebody I can delegate and be like, hey, go do this. Go do that. Amen, sister. Amen, sister. Amen, sister. And they'll be like, sure thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Susie. Amen, Susie. sister. I need your love. So fresh, so clean. Stop me in the night. I'm feeling me. And I need to know. Anytime you call me, I'll be down. I'll be down. I'll be down. It's usually the brain that the case for all of it. Then she was planning to I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all on Sunday for my birthday vlog. I'm so excited to drop this for y'all so make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all on Sunday. Bye! Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring or Sally when I'm feeling lonely. 